Hi everyone, this is Jason with Gear Talk, and this is the second in my video series on how to choose an alcohol stove. In this video, we're going to talk about heat output and fuel efficiency. So let's look at two extremes. This is a Sargent Rock Ion stove, and it's an extremely, extremely efficient stove. This burns for a long time. However, it's not the best at boiling large quantities of water, and it's not very fast. Uh, it can take a long, long time just to boil two cups of water. Compare that with a standard SuperCat stove, which will boil two cups of water relatively quickly, about five minutes. I've even gotten it under five minutes, uh, but not the most fuel efficient. So those are two extremes. Let's look at some of the things in between and figure out what questions you should be asking yourself in order to determine which alcohol stove is right for you. These stoves are what we call open burners. Open burners are basically just open containers that you pour the alcohol into and light. And these are some different examples. This is a tea light stove. Many of you have probably heard about that. Here's my version of the tea light stove I call the class light stove, which is basically a tea light tin inside of a cage that acts as a pot support. And here's one that I made uh, just by cutting off the bottom of a travel sized uh, can of hair mousse. This is a wedding tin. So basically they're just open containers that you pour the alcohol into and light. There's, there's absolutely, absolutely no pressurization. And these are very fuel efficient. They burn very long. Uh, however, they're extremely slow. So for example, something like a tea light or, or this one could take maybe 10 to 12 minutes just to boil two cups of water. And again, remember that two cups of water is the kind of consensus on uh, measurement for uh, the speed of a stove. So whenever you hear someone say, oh, it boils in about five minutes, they're probably referring to it boiling two cups of water. So let's keep that in mind as we go through this video. So these are very fuel efficient but slow. If you're really impatient and feel like you want your food as fast as possible, probably open burners aren't right for you. However, if you're patient and you want to carry less fuel, then probably an open burner would work, especially if you're on a long trip, uh, something like a through hike or something like that. So this will just uh, also allow you to carry a little bit less fuel and save some weight there. Here are three versions of the famous SuperCat stove. And if you notice, the bottom row of holes goes from lower, from the standard one, to higher on these different versions that I've made. And the reason for that is that the standard version doesn't have a lot of fuel capacity. It boils two cups of water in five minutes, no problem, but it, it runs out almost right after that. So if you need more fuel, if it's colder and you need to melt snow in the winter, or if you want to cook, um, you're going to need more fuel than what this one has. So I made one that's kind of got a little bit more fuel capacity and then one that's got tons of fuel capacity. So this will burn a lot longer and hotter. Um, I guess my point here is that the main question you need to ask yourself is, am I just boiling water to pour into something like a mountain house bag and rehydrate it? Or am I actually going to cook food? These work great if you just need to boil two cups of water to pour into a, a rehydrated uh, meal. But if you need to actually cook pasta or something that requires a longer boil time, you're probably going to want to go with something with either more fuel capacity, like this, or something like I just showed you, like an open burner that burns for 12 minutes or 15 minutes, uh, something like that. Here we have a selection of the classic soda can style stoves. I've got a couple here that I made the, just out of uh, Pepsi cans. I've got an anti-gravity gear version. This is a uh, Mini Bowl Designs Trek. And I've got a Evernew, which is basically almost the same as a DIY Pepsi can stove, but it's made out of titanium. And we've already covered how to choose uh, stoves that have top burners or uh, side jets, so I won't go over that again. But all I want to say about this class is that they're a good middle of the road choice. These are pressurized, unlike the open burners that we saw in the beginning of the video. And that just makes them more efficient, but they're also pretty fast. So all these stoves can boil two cups of water in about five to six minutes, depending on conditions. Here we have a collection of monsters. These are stoves that have a lot of fuel capacity and burn really hot too. So for example, we've got a Mini Bowl Design Sith. That's a side burner. I've got a white box alcohol stove, really, really hot stove with a good fuel capacity. And then I've got a Mini Bowl Designs uh, AT. Now these stoves, as you can see, just by their, their size compared to some of the other stoves, they have a lot of fuel capacity, which means if you have to cook for a large group of people or just cook a, you know, a lot of water, boil pasta or something like that for a long time, these are good choices. And again, you're going to have to carry more fuel if you want to do that, but 
that's one of the decisions you have to make. Am I doing group cooking uh, or do I need to melt a lot of snow? Things like that. And so a bigger stove like this will definitely take that job on, no problem. Up until now, I've been talking kind of in terms of extremes, but I just want to show you an example of a stove that covers both. This is a brass light stove. It's commercially made. You could make one yourself, but it'd be pretty difficult unless you've got a full machine shop and access to all the right materials. So most people probably aren't going to make something like this. But this stove allows you to basically cover both extremes. If you'll notice, we've got ports on the side here, and if you just fill the stove up like this and light it, it's going to come out the side here, and it's going to be more like a SuperCat stove or a kind of sideburn that's really hot, but it's going to go through a lot of fuel pretty quick. So if you just need to boil two cups of water really fast, just leave it in that mode. But if you want to cook or simmer or just be really e efficient with your fuel, you close the ports like that, and when you light it, now it just comes out of here, and it's got a flame pattern, very narrow one, almost like a tea light stove. So a stove like this gives you both options, which is kind of nice. Here's another option I consider a good uh, compromise between efficiency and speed. This is the Caldera Cone System, available from Trail Designs. And this is the burner. You can see it's kind of a Pepsi-style stove, but not really. It's, it's pretty unique. And you use it in combination with their Caldera Cone windscreen. Now, this system is extremely efficient. This stove burns a long time, yet it still gives a very fast boil time. I've gotten anywhere between five and six minutes for two cups of water, absolutely no problem. But if you put more fuel in there, this stove has the capacity. So if you needed to really cook or just boil uh, you know, uh, larger amounts of water, this stove will handle it. So the Caldera Cone, in my opinion, is a good compromise. To wrap up, before you settle on an alcohol stove design, you need to ask yourself a few questions. First, are you cooking food or just boiling water? If you're cooking food, something with a longer burn time or more fuel capacity is probably going to be preferential. If you're simply boiling two cups of water to throw into a dehydrated meal, faster is okay. You also need to consider the length of the trip. So if you're going on a long through hike, you don't want to carry tons of fuel. So something like an open burner that I showed you at the beginning of the video that's a little bit easier on fuel uh, might be a better choice than something like the SuperCat that goes through fuel faster. You also have to ask yourself, how patient am I? Do you really want to wait 12 minutes just to boil two cups of water and then wait another six minutes to throw into a mountain house bag? Or do you want your meal now? So the speed of the stove is also going to depend on your tolerance for uh, how long it's going to take you to get your hot food in your mouth. You might actually find yourself needing a couple of different designs to meet different conditions, so consider that too.